Her get Storm Team 5 meteorologist Glenn Glazer, with the help of <laughs> Ashley Walters, has written a new book, Our Taste and See. South Florida reporter T.A. Walker sharing some of the humorous real-life events that inspired this. I I've heard a little bit of it with our morning crew Monday through Friday. Tell us a little more. Well, truth be told, Mike, <laughs> a few of Glenn's friends have been waiting for about four years to do this story, including me. It was a period in Glenn and his wife Tasha's life that they were new parents, striving to be the best parents possible by absorbing absorbing every piece of information on how to be great parental units. Well, you know what? We Storm Team 5 meteorologist Glenn Glazer has written a book called Don't Touch My Baby. The topic of the book is inspired by events that happened to Glenn and his wife Tasha when they were new parents and how germaphobic they became about people touching their son Jude. So when I found out what this book was about, I was not shocked. Here's my shock face. WPTV morning anchor Ashley Walters illustrated Glenn's book and remembers the procedures Glenn and Tasha put people through before they got to be around Jude. Oh, I think it was kind of like scrubbing in for surgery. That's probably the best way I can describe it. It's like I'm not walking around with my hands up like I'm prepped for surgery or anything like that. But it felt um, that way. It did feel that way at times. I remember at Sunfest, little Jude, brand new, Gwen hadn't even arrived yet. Little Jude was tiny. It was his first Sunfest. He had these huge uh, noise canceling headphones. So he was okay in the concert. And there was this big red stop sign. And we, we did have a funny sign on the stroller and said, Stop. Because <laughs> there's a sign that's shaped like a stop sign. I, I mean, you don't put your germs on me, basically. You know, back off, people. Really, it was like, slow your roll. It was like as if the little tiny baby hand it reached out of the stroller. It was like, ah! <laughs> and so, and yeah, you backed up. You went, okay. And we backed up, and you looked at Glenn like, he's going to smile about it. He's like, no, there was no smiling about it. This was not a funny situation. After a second child, Gwen, was born, there didn't seem to be as strict of standards. Well, you can actually get up and talk to Gwen. <laughs> he, we, he, the bu there's no bubble. What happened between Jude and Gwen? Well, <laughs> I think you get worn out as a parent, honestly. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, being crazy is a lot of work. Being crazy is a lot of work. Thank you. Uh, well, Glenn and Ashley will be signing their book this afternoon at Artie Grand Jupiter from 1.30 to 3.30. To get more information on Artie Grand, go to WPTV.com slash taste. Listen, a lot of parents waking up with their little ones right now. I felt it when, you know, when my son was born, he's three now, but... People wanted to come over like right away and hug and touch and everything. It's like, listen, you know, they've got little infant immune systems that aren't used to these germs yet. But I really appreciate the fact between child one and child two, the defenses go down. It's yeah. Like, touch, yeah. fine, yeah. go. It's like, oh man, good stuff, TA. Thanks, Thanks for joining Mike. us this morning.